Welcome back, everybody. We got another song from Attila, Bite Your Tongue. Brand new. This is part of my reaction. What's up, guys? I like Attila. This one's called Bite Your Tongue. Yeah, I'm expecting good things, man. Expecting uh, heavy, at least. Yeah. It's a visualizer. It's not a full video, yeah. which is totally cool. Uh, but it's a new track, Bite Your Tongue. I, I've never heard it, obviously. Brand new. Uh, been listening to Attila for years. Uh, obviously, it's one of those bands that's just kept going and made it through the whole, you know, from the very early days to now. Yeah. Um, they've had some cool changes. Uh, and they're heavy, man. They're they're good live. I, I've always enjoyed them. So I'm, exer- I'm, I'm very excited about what this is going to be. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Uh, and they usually they have some humor. So... I don't know if this is going to be one of those, but uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Uh, so until it bite your tongue, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into this, guys. Before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, hit make that sure notification follow, bell. Like, share. Yeah, man. We want you guys to uh, check out some of our past videos as well. So let's get into this, man. Until it bite your tongue. Let's do it. These visualizers are really popular right now. They are. Actually, this is cool. cool, man. It's cool. It's almost they've gone a little bit more mainstream than they were, right? Uh, with the with the singing, the slower parts. Yeah, I feel like they've done it before, but it's not really their thing. Like yeah, they, they ha- they've usually been, you know, a, a heavier, more of a party vibe. Yeah. Um, now that's not a bad thing, by any means, uh, to kind of have a more mainstream song. And I mean, it's so far, it's good. So, I mean, I have no quorums with bands, like, opening themselves up to different audiences. Hmm, so, yeah. I mean, I can see maybe if it was, like, if they tried something like this and it, you're just like, eh, it doesn't really work that well. I mean, it works. But this is good. Yeah, it works. It and definitely And especially works. the way they do that chorus, it's it's big. It's yeah. The vocals are good. He threw in his kind of, like, faster screaming stuff in there, which yeah. is kind of reminiscent of their, old, like, general style i should not even their older stuff but just their general style yeah so yeah i mean i think it's pretty cool man i think it's, and cool. it's a cool visualizer it's not just images like repeating itself yeah the the chicken it was actually singing the yep. song yep. So, so, that's, yeah so yeah borderline a music video <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wish I could pretend that I feel complete And I'll never back down from this hill so Don't get mad at me for keeping it real That's cool. Let me in the eyes that every 
Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's I liked cool. it. Yeah, it has a very catchy chorus. It does. Um, it was almost a kind of a Bring Me Horizon esque. Kind oh, of I had, I had a that. little bit of that, yeah. like Bring Me Horizon. I do remember esque. Uh, kind of just that. Uh, I don't know, just mo- more of like a mainstream heavy. Sure. Sound. I liked it. Yeah, I mean, I I think for me, um, yeah, I mean, the chorus was it sounded really good. As far as like just looking at this as a singular song, mm-hmm. I think it's very very catchy. I think it's uh, really mainstream. Like you could hear this, you know, even to an extent on a radio. Like maybe just the chorus of it. I, they have the heavy parts. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this: when I hear when I hear is like screaming, you know that that he has a very distinct and unique style. Yeah. And. Uh, for me personally, like I, I wish that they stuck with that more mm. because I felt like that's always what stood them out from everybody else was that he has such a unique style of screaming. The way that he chops up his like, nah, 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 nah. you know, just, yeah. it's really like that was yeah. terrible, but you know, <laughs> it's really like it has a very specific style. Oh yeah, and yeah. so like I, I enjoy Attila because they have that and they they stand out to me for that. Uh, when you kind of start going into this direction, no, it's it's a great song. Don't get me wrong. But you're kind of like you said, you kind of are falling in place with a lot of bands that are switching up to a more like mainstream style. Yeah, and I think you have to have them. You do, at least some songs. At least some. But uh, you know, I, I think it's I think it was it was good. And I don't know. Uh, this just came out, so is this like a is there a new album coming? I have no idea for them. Yeah, I have no uh, idea. Or is it just a one off thing? Well, and I, you know the other thing is I know like I. Um, Gosh, I can't think of his name right off the top of my head. I know it, but I can't think of his name. The singer for Attila. Um, him and Ronnie Radke have been feuding, or at least they did, it seemed, mm. back and forth. They were just talking shit to each other back and forth. And uh, there's just something, like, in the back of my head that I'm just like, well, so, like, you know, Falling in Reverse have came out with these huge songs, man. Huge I mean, it was songs. Fucking monster songs. Very mainstream. Uh, and it's just, like, it, his, he's kind of found his style. You know what I'm saying? And it's working so well. And they've been feuding. And I don't know what the history behind that is or even why it is. Mm. But I almost there's a part of me that's just like, if you're Attila and you've been around for so long and you're seeing a band like um, Falling in Reverse, who have been around for a while as well. Well, yeah. Well, it, Ronnie Radke has been around for a while. Yeah. But Falling in uh, Reverse, and he was he was Escape the Fate before. Yeah. So, I mean, they've been around yeah. as front man. And, like, you see the success that he's getting. Like, are you getting, is it a gel? Like, hey, man, like, we should be getting that success, too. So then you create a song that's trying to yeah, maybe. fall in line with, like, that more of a mainstream. But it's, but it's also, like, it is it just Ronnie Radke's putting out the, the right type of songs at the right time? That, there's probably And, that and too. he's like, yeah. we, why aren't we catching this? Like, we need to be on the same tra- kind of train. Or they don't care at all. You know, they, it could just be that, like, they want it. Because I, I just, I, I don't listen to them a ton anymore. Yeah. But I always have in the past, and uh, I just I don't really remember a lot of songs that are in this realm as far as like real straightforward, really like catchy, really hooky. Mm. Um, usually, there's some speed to their stuff. There's a lot more screaming to their stuff, at least from what I remember. So I, I think it's a good change if you're trying to break out of just being in this kind of a category. Yeah, it's a good move for them because I think you know people are growing yeah, older, broader audience, and his yeah, and his audience is getting older, like myself. Yeah. And we do appreciate, like, just good rock. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, really catchy tunes. So, I think it's a good song, man. I think it's a really good song. It's a song I'd listen to for sure. And I'd be oh, curious yeah. what their album's going to be like if they do put this on a new album. Me too. Uh, I, I'd i like to know if the, they're actually coming out with a new album. Because if it's more in the direction of this, but they like, have more of a mixture of, like, this mm-hmm. and their, their old speed stuff, yeah, that would be sick. I hope they just continue to do fun shit. Like that's that's what I want. Like the pizza song. Oh yeah. Like I want like that's just for me. That's such a staple for them. <laughs> like they're they look like they're having a great time. Their videos are kind of like you can tell they're not taking it too seriously. Mm. 
And I think that's their, like, to me, that's, like, what makes them Attila. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I want it, I don't want them to get too serious because they can go too far. I think Bring Me to the Rising has taken it a little far as far as, like, mm. you know, changing this whole image of the band. Uh, so we'll see. We'll I see. mean, I think it's a good start. It's a I'm good excited. song. I'm yeah, excited man. to see what else they come out with. Absolutely. So Attila, bite your tongue. Dude, I'm putting that on the playlist. There's no doubt about oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's going on my playlist. Uh, if you guys like what we do, though, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you can get all those past videos or future yeah, videos. Uh, and you can donate. Uh, we do have a cash app. Yeah, we have cash app down there in the description. Yep. 50 cents, a dollar, whatever. Yeah. Everything we make from these videos goes back to the artist. If you want to support us, that's how you do it. Or you jump on Patreon for 2 bucks a month. Yeah, you can request videos, and uh, we will do them. Uh, yeah. So thank you, guys. Uh, Tilla, bite your tongue. Dude, two thumbs up, man. That's going on the playlist. I like it.